Well, the letter to the UN was uh, in conjunction with a meeting that I had with uh, Kurt Waldheim and the Security Council of the UN to try to encourage the UN to establish a committee to start comparing notes and data and information and to really look into all of this from an unbiased, neutral point of view. Here's a quote from, from your letter. I believe that these extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews are visiting this planet from other planets and are obviously a little more advanced than we are here on Earth. And are you saying that's exactly why governments have been trying to keep this information private because of that obvious advancement? Very possibly, right. You wrote a letter to the United Nations in, in May of 1963. What prompted you to, to send that letter? Well, I felt that everybody around the world was busy out being contacted from time to time and having sightings and a few abductions and various things going on. It would be nice maybe to have a central gathering house for all this information and somebody who was some organization that was kind of neutral ground that wouldn't have a vested interest from country to country involved. And it seemed to me like the United Nations still would be the place to do a lot of this gathering. You mentioned abductions. What, what, were, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, where people were, were blacked out for a period of time and woke up and obviously had some time missing and, and down so far as a couple of poor fishermen in Pascagoula, Texas, who uh, were actually taken on board a spaceship, extraterrestrial spaceship. And, these types of things that whether you believe them or don't believe them or whether they're true or false, the information really ought to be brought together in one locale and properly investigated and properly correlated and properly stored. Mm. In your letter you wrote, I believe that these are extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews visiting from other planets. What led you to believe that? That's just my opinion. Your opinion? I mean, seeing, I guess, for the first time the craft did that kind of prompt you to, to I mean that I guess in your reading Buck Rogers <laughs> prompt you to, to believe that, that that's what the situation was well in later years after being in a fighter outfit for a while and getting into aircraft development testing and research at Edwards I certainly had decided that uh, that we're not building that type of vehicle here certainly not in the United States very likely not on this planet. So these vehicles almost of necessity have to come from somewhere else. Um, again, referring back to a letter you wrote, um, you wrote, uh, we may first have to show them that we have learned how to resolve our problems peace by peaceful means rather than warfare. What led you to believe that? Was it just something that, I mean, well, one would wonder why extraterrestrials are not contacting people more readily. Why don't they come and land in my backyard or somebody's backyard who would dearly welcome them and who would like to interface with them and like to find out what they're doing, what their propulsion system is. And, uh, and one would then take the next step and say, well, maybe it's because they don't feel we're ready. Maybe we haven't learned to control ourselves or learned to govern ourselves well enough to uh, really be given more technology. What did you feel about the outcome of the letter or the results? I mean, what did you feel once, I guess, nothing happened? You hit on nothing. nothing. The outcome of the letter was that nothing happened, which, of course, is rather typical of the United Nations. But would you write, if you had the chance, would you write the letter again? I mean, would you do it all over again? I suppose I would. I suppose I'd do it again, but even knowing it probably would be a waste of effort. Why do, why do you think it would be a, a waste of effort? Well, it wasn't really truly a waste of effort. Uh, Kurt Waldheim reviewed it and had a meeting with us and looked everything over, and, and it was presented to the council and certainly made a lot of people aware of a number of things that... Uh, Perhaps they had not been aware of before, so maybe it opened a few eyes. You said, just a minute ago, you said the United Nations would be the place to do that. Why Why not some branch of the government? I mean, why not, you know, uh, one of the, maybe the military or, or, or NASA or why the UN? 
Well, then, uh, if, if our government handed it, there would be a few governments around the world that might have a reluctance to work with the program. If he had truly neutral ground, like the United Nations is supposed to be, and he is pretty much so, it would be the logical place to do it.